Schools all across the country on alert now after a social media post labeled today National Shoot Up Your School Day. One Rhode Island school even went into a temporary lockdown because of social media pictures. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to one school district who took some extra precautions to ensure students safety today. She joins us live in studio with more. Brittany. Well, Kim Bryan, school officials in Massachusetts, Rhode Island and Connecticut say they've increased police presence in Westport. Superintendent Thomas Aubin tells me they have police stationed at every school. Student attendance down 30% in Westport due to disturbing social media threats. It has had an impact, unfortunately. The threat on TikTok, labeled December 17th as National Shoot Up Your School Day, warned students to stay home. Copycat posts also provoke students to issue bomb threats. Westport Superintendent Thomas Aubin tells me their attendance went from an average of 7% absent to 30. With the number of students we have out today, uh, it's a bit disappointing, but we'll continue to send the message that our schools are safe and we're going to keep our kids safe. To keep that promise, Westport schools had police stationed at all three schools. Aubin says with the extra presence, school is even more safe today. We uh, have a, an unbelievable police showing at all of our schools. They will be here all day. Uh, they will also be here for uh, the uh, extracurriculars. North Providence High School temporarily went on lockdown this morning because of images circulating on social media. Police tell us they investigated and cleared the school to resume activities shortly after. Westport, Fall River, North Kingstown, Barrington, Lincoln, Warwick, and East Greenwich all sent emails to parents regarding the social media posts. 12 News law enforcement analyst Colonel Stephen O'Donnell tells me the threats are troubling. It's problematic. Parents take it seriously and people know this is real. It's happened around the country, so it's not something that should be taken lightly. And candidly, I think the punishment should be greater. They should legislate it. In the initial post that sparked hundreds of copycat threats was anonymous. TikTok says they are working with law enforcement to investigate. And Brittany, we just heard Colonel O'Donnell there mentioning punishment for this. What is the potential penalty? Well, Kim, Colonel O'Donnell says it's a tough line in law enforcement to draw due to freedom of speech. He says in some cases like this, disorderly conduct could be a charge. I'll have more on that coming up at five. All right, Brittany Schaefer, thank you so much. So a disturbing national threat on TikTok causing reaction at schools Friday. The post called for shootings and bomb threats. One area school even went into a temporary lockdown. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to one district that says they took immediate precautionary actions. She joins us live in studio with more. Brittany. Well, Kim Shannon, the superintendent in Westport tells me the social media threats did impact their schools today. Thomas Aubin says they went from an average 7% student absence to 30. A Westport police cruiser stationed outside all schools Friday due to social media posts promoting violence. We have one stationed at every school all day and we had a, uh, a number of them at the entrances uh, at the start of the school and uh, we'll have them also at the uh, dismissal time as well just to make sure that uh, our kids are safe. The threat on TikTok labeled December 17th as National Shoot Up Your School Day warned students to stay home. Westport Superintendent Thomas Aubin tells me it's behavior they won't tolerate. He's now asking parents to do this. The uh, intensity and the frequency of these events is increasing exponentially. I can't express to parents enough how important it is to monitor their children's social media usage. A real um, place where uh, unfortunately some really nasty people come together. 12 News law enforcement analyst Colonel Stephen O'Donnell tells me police handle threats like these very seriously. People know this is real. It's happened around the country, so it's not something that should be taken lightly. And candidly, I think the punishment should be greater. Posting somebody's right is, is egregious and as grotesque it may be, sometimes it's not a criminal violation. O'Donnell says criminal charges can be difficult due to freedom of speech, but in this case, disorderly conduct may apply. If it didn't fit a threat mode, it might be disorderly conduct because you're are creating a stir in the public. And if there's a way of charging somebody, uh, I'm certainly uh, any prosecutor, any police department would go forward with that. And school officials in Massachusetts, Rhode Island and Connecticut say they increased police presence. TikTok says they are working with law enforcement to investigate. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.